We you know, sell six times a season. I've been I've been writing editing the zine since we're writing it since I was at school and selling it since I was 17 as well. So used to sell it outside the old ground, sell it outside this ground now, and it's nice to see a lot of the, the same faces that used to buy it there that are still buy here. It's nice to catch up with people that I don't otherwise see unless we're selling the fanzine, and, and you recognise faces, you recognise people. It's it's nice to see that continuity between the old ground and the new ground as we flog it and get have a nice chat, catch up about the Rovers. You know, exchange a few jokes with people that you see over and over again. It's it's nice. It's a nice way to spend an hour and a half before kickoff. To be honest, even when it's even when it's this cold, it's a good read. It's a little bit irreverent in as much as it doesn't necessarily follow the club line or the supporters line. It's a good balanced view, uh, and it's better value than a club program. It's uh, witty. It's irreverent. Uh, it actually represents the voices of thinking Doncaster Rovers fans. It's humorous, it's well written, it's very informative. Um, it passes the time when I've got nothing to do, waiting, waiting for the game. But most of all, it's written by my own nephew. I bought it for the first time a month ago and I found it very humorous, um, very interesting and quite informative. It's a Rovers thing for Rovers people by Rovers fans and it, like Anne says, it's just so funny.